Do you like my nose? That's so rude of me to talk my mouth full. I'm so sorry. I'm still doing it. And it goes a little yeah. something like... Welcome back to my channel today I know I said that my next video was going to be a back to school essentials videos but I haven't gotten all my stuff yet so I didn't really want to do that yet I wanted to wait till I got some more stuff you guys like my new setup I got a whole tapestry as an early birthday gift from my aunt and I love it so today we're gonna be talking about self-esteem and confidence and how to build that i know that's something especially in this society can be really hard to grow up with it's something that most people end up having to learn to build it's, i think we have that young and then it's broken down and then we have to build it back up which is kind of unfortunate kind of sucks but it's possible to build your self-esteem back up and so I put a poll on my Instagram of what you guys want to see because I'm starting new mental health and wellness content so some of these tips are on my Instagram but I figured I'd make a video and go way more in depth with experiences um, on on that I've had and how I've kind of been able to build slowly my self-confidence and self-esteem I have a bunch of tips right here and some examples and let's get started so tip number one, I highly recommend writing down at least five things that you, between three to five things every morning that you love and appreciate about yourself. If this is difficult, this should not be difficult. I know for some people this may be difficult, but I think when we think of things that we love about ourselves, um, automatically our mind goes to the physical because of the way we're taught and how females especially bodies are sexualized and you feel like you have to have a nice bud and it's not about that like you can love and appreciate small things about yourself and big things about yourself if you want to write down some things that are physical you can if that's if you do like that about yourself but all of them should not be physical so it can be something as simple as I love how helpful I am I love how smart I am I love how I can adapt in a situation stuff like that but you should be doing that every morning so that you can start appreciating about this more about yourself so and because you're doing this this is going to naturally make you think about yourself in a positive way you need to shift right what we're really trying to do is shift your mindset um that's one of the biggest ways that's going to help you develop more of a, a better relationship with yourself because the relationship with yourself needs to be the tightest before anybody else that's just facts tip number two once you have what you're like, you're going to focus more on that, focus on those things, and then do more of those things so you are always feeling better about yourself. And naturally over time, your self-esteem will be built because you've been doing more of the things you like about yourself. So you're in a more positive mindset for longer periods of times, and hopefully that keeps you in that mindset. Number three. You're going to write down what bothers you um, and what you don't like now that you've wrote down what you do like. Now, I know that this can be, this sounds counterproductive, but it's actually not because you need to really sit and think about the things you wrote down that you didn't like. Because that's one, you might write down something that you didn't even know you were aware. You weren't even aware that was bothering you about yourself. And you need to figure out where those those that darkness is coming from is it because somebody told you that is it because you were made fun of is it because somebody you like doesn't like that quality that you may have like you need to figure out the root of it because that's the only way you're going to break that down otherwise it's always going to eat at you in the back of your head conscious or not like it's going to come after you so you need to really sit and truly think okay is this a realistic thing to be upset about about myself like is this because honey if you're not out here killing people or if you're not out here robbing people like is it really something worth not liking and if it is something if you feel like it's a true character flaw like say if you feel you're selfish now you know and you're aware and you're thinking about it more so maybe you can stop being selfish in certain situations but nine times out of ten it's in your head and somebody made you feel that way so you need to undo that so this way you can figure out if it's something you truly don't like or if it's something you don't like based on others' opinions. For examples, if you feel like you need to lose weight, 
Is that something you don't like about yourself because you really don't like how you look or because you're, you wanna be healthy? Or is it because other people make you feel like you need to lose weight? You need to ask yourself that. You need to figure out where this stuff is coming from because that's the only way you're gonna destroy it. Number four, you have to know, well, this kind of wraps into number three, you really have to know your darkness in order to fix them. So you can't shy away from your feelings. You need to sit in your feelings. That's the only way you're gonna one, process it, get it out your system, cry if you need to cry, truly feel it and it's gonna feel miserable but once you do that you can release it otherwise if you're constantly trying to push away from that emotion it's just gonna keep creeping up and keep creeping up and don't know what that emotion was don't i don't know what that was but yeah it's just gonna keep coming back so you need to deal with it face it understand where it's coming from and let it go number five i know y'all have heard this before but i'm going to say it anyway stop comparing yourselves to others this took me forever here's the thing this is why social media can be dangerous it is so quickly so easy to judge somebody because you admire a quality in them uh-uh you can admire a quality without feeling like you need that in order to be valued you need that you, you don't need that to be valued yes it's nice to admire somebody and say oh how inspirational but there's a very thin line between that and being like i need to be like that because you're losing yourself. Everybody is special, period. Everybody has their own special qualities. And if you can't find it, it's, it's really up to you to figure that out. You need to do, which is gonna lead me into my next point, you need to do what feels right and what feels good for you. Because at the end of the day, if it feels right and it feels good and you have that gut feeling and it, it makes you happy, chances are you should be doing more of that and that's your calling. A lot of times, and you may have noticed this, like you try to do something that somebody else is doing that brings them joy, and you realize that it doesn't, it didn't have the same effect you thought it would. That's because that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You know, you're, you're worried about something else that somebody else is doing, it doesn't feel as good, then you feel like you failed, and now you feel even worse and unworthy. But it's just because it wasn't for you. <laughs> that's all. There's other things for you. So if you're doing those things that feel good and right for you, you're gonna succeed because it feels good, you're giving it your all, you know this is right. Once you succeed, your confidence and success is gonna boost your self-esteem and self-confidence. Like you're just, it's gonna just jump up because you're successful in something that you truly love doing, that you love, not what somebody else is loving doing. Before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Okay, back to what I was saying. All right, number six. I don't know, my numbers could be totally off. I think I'm gonna stop counting, because I don't know. I'll put maybe like little inserts of what number it actually is, because a lot of these mesh together. Stop worrying about what others will think. I know y'all heard this one too, but it's so true. In the grand scheme of things, they don't matter. This has taken me the longest to get rid of. And honestly, once I was able to do this, my self-esteem and confidence shot up. It does not matter what other people think because here's a little tidbit, somebody that's judging you and doesn't like you and is making you feel unworthy, those people that have a problem with you have a problem with themselves. Think about it. You're so bothered by me. I must be doing something right. Like clearly there's something that you're, you're I don't wanna say envious, I don't wanna sound conceited, but I'm saying that if you're so bothered and worried about me that you feel like you have to put me down, that's your problem. You gotta sit, sit and feel like that. It's not my problem, I don't care. I'm letting it roll right off my shoulders. You're hot and bothered that you felt the need to demean me. That's your problem, honey. You were so pressed that you felt like you had to make me feel bad. That's your problem. Those are your demons. You gotta deal with that because it did not bother me. You have to let that stuff go because those people have a problem with themselves. Their problem nine times out of 10 is not really with you. It's something in you that's triggering them. So stop letting it affect you because it has it really has nothing to do with you. That's the crazy part. It affects us and makes us feel bad about ourselves when in reality, when that person said that, it actually, in its simplest form, it had nothing to do with you. It had to do with them. 
which brings me to my next one which is number seven i think surround yourself with a good support system anybody who's making you feel it goes great with the last one anybody that's making you feel like crap it's time to kick them to the curb and i know it's hard when you really truly care about somebody but even those people it just may not be for you anymore they're holding you back and that's why your self-esteem and your confidence is being shot down is because people you care about who you feel like you want in your lives are the ones that are negatively impacting it that is why your confidence is constantly being shot down you need to su surround yourself with people who truly support you because and that's okay like people outgrow each other that's something i had to learn you can't force you know everybody grows and changes you can't force a connection anymore because people outgrow and it's just y'all aren't on the same wavelength anymore and that's okay it doesn't you don't have to have hate for people to stop talking to them anymore if people are outgrowing each other we need to learn to just mutually and respectfully just drift apart like that's just all you can do there's a lot of i see hate that goes on because people aren't connecting the same way which turns into negative negativity and bickering and then it turns into this really nasty cycle of either verbal abuse or um, back talking and drama that's unnecessary because we don't know how to handle drifting from people we care about so that's why we tend to act negatively and that's why there's so many like really bad breakups friendships that end they usually end in a really like negative way that's why that's actually where it's coming from it's because we don't know how to handle drifting and no longer connecting with somebody that we really did at one point which brings me into my next one stop letting failures feel like failures let them be lessons if you let a failure feel like a failure your shot confidence is going to be shot like you're literally sabotaging yourself all i mean when you think about all of the greats that failed like i know you've probably you probably heard like michael jordan didn't make his high school basketball team that alone at the end of the day you need to put in the work <laughs> like it's it's now you shouldn't be miserable in the work because at the end of the day if it's something you truly love and should be doing you shouldn't be miserable doing it otherwise you're not going to want to do it but stop letting failures feel like failures like you have to let them be lessons and be grateful that you've learned this lesson because that's what's going to bring you to your next outcome you could literally be right around the corner from a million dollars but you let it get to you and now you just stop short of that million dollars it's you gotta learn you can be grateful for that lesson because if you're letting it feel like a failure you're not gonna feel confident and so for my last one you have to understand that you are worthy and you are beautiful period inside and out period there's no arguing here i said it so for my i want you to write down from everything else i told you to write i want you to write down every day and repeat to yourself 10 times i am worthy and i am beautiful inside and out i am worthy and i am beautiful inside and out you have to this is going to start to reprogram your way of thought i want you guys to know that i am proud of you even though i may have never spoken to you before I am proud of you just by watching this and you're like oh you don't know me how am I proud of you just by watching this and searching for this shows that how strong you are because you want to change you want to feel good about yourself you're taking your life into your own hands and you're looking for help and that's so important and you're so strong for that and it's amazing to care about yourself to this degree and want to build a stronger foundation for yourself. It's in there. <laughs> you guys have the power. It is insane, like the amount of power you hold and you don't even know. So stop letting outside forces mess with the relationship you have with yourself. Because I know, I promise you have the power. You do. And once you let go of what others are saying or thinking, I mean, and you only care about what you think and reprogram to where you have a great relationship with yourself, nobody can touch you. You become untouchable, period. But thank you guys so much for watching. That was real, that was it for this video. I didn't want to make it super long because y'all know I can talk, 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 talk. As you've seen, some of my videos are kind of long, but I kind of just wanted to go into depth a little bit more about 
building your self-esteem and why you may not have a great self-esteem. It's not your fault. Never think that it's your fault. It's really a product. We're a product of our environment, you know? So only we can fight to reprogram ourselves. I know that sounds a little extra, but like we're all programmed and you, you gotta reprogram it because you do have the power. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. And I have a lot more of this coming. I have a lot of ideas. Follow me on my social media because I post um, shorter versions of tips. So in case the video is not up yet, but that is it. TTFN. <laughs> Thank you.